Hello booktube and welcome to Weekly Reads. I had a pretty good reading week this past week. Um, so on Friday, at the my last video, I mentioned I had started um, Kaya Shanti Wilson's The Sorcerer of the Wild Deeps. I finished it on Saturday and I really enjoyed it. Um, even more than I did the last time I read it in 2017. So the story is about uh, Demane. He is from, I'm going to say, the eastern side of the continent. Um, it's very inspired by, or the story and its sequel, A Taste of Honey, are inspired by Africa, um, African history, African mythology. And so Demane leaves his homeland and eventually travels north um, and joins a caravan who are eventually going to be tracking um, south to this great southern kingdom called Oleron. Um, and as part of the caravan, he meets Issa, or the captain, who is, like him, a descendant of the gods. So in this setting, um, gods came to earth, or whatever name this world has, and basically intermarried with the population in some cases, creating uh, demigods of whom Demane and the captain are members or descendants of. Um, the gods have since left the world. Um, and so their influence is a mix of magic and super science. And that informs the language in which um, Demane will try to speak in a more um, average speech, but then he will also uh, use more scientific language to explain some of the um, like injuries and diseases and stuff that um, he's called upon to heal. He's uh, very much a healer, um, which is why he's called Sorcerer. Um, so Demane and the captain become lovers uh, during the journey. And basically much of the story is said in this oasis called Mother of Waters. It borders uh, a band of forests called uh, the Wild Deeps, which is sort of a grand forest jungle that encompasses portals to other worlds, other times, and there is one safe path, uh, the road, which is always sort of moving. And as the caravan passes onto the road, um, they are beset by a, a sorcerer tiger, a Jukier who kills several members of the caravan and um, Demane and the captain go in pursuit of this Jukier and um, basically the ending is quite ambiguous but I really enjoyed the book. Absolutely love it. Um, and I actually really have come to appreciate the language uh, Wilson uses. Um, there's a mix of sort of a more typical fantasy speech, as well as um, a more technical scientific speech, and even a sort of more contemporary speech, which raises the question of whether or not, of where the setting is, and sort of the cultural permutations of the setting. So really, really enjoyed the book. Um, on Saturday and moving into Sunday, I read um, A Queer History of the United States by Michael Bronsky, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, 
it begins with um, um, Columbus's voyage and gradually moves into uh, the uh, history of the United, the United States proper. And it is really well done. Um, particularly, I like um, Bronsky's usage of uh, the persecuting idea of the persecuting society, as well as once the late 19th and early 20th century uh, comes in of the uh, purity movement and sort of how those ideas and movements uh, become more antagonistic to um, queer people. So it was a very fascinating book and I definitely want to mine um, the sources and uh, other historians Bronsky references for further research but I really really love this book. Um, there are some editorial issues. Um, he mentions the Spanish Civil War when he really should be referencing the Spanish-American War. Um, and the history, he ends it in, uh, 99, in the 1990s um, during a rather dark period of LGBT uh, rights and history, obviously in the aftermath of I mean, during the AIDS pandemic. Uh, but I really enjoyed the book and I am looking forward to more, to reading more uh, queer history. So on Monday, I started and read throughout the week um, Solitary by Albert Woodfox, as this is a um, book for the BookTube Prize. I cannot say anything except for I read it, and I will talk about um, solitary in more depth at the end at the end of July when the results for this particular round of the Book Two Prize is announced. Um, I also read uh, ebook, so I can't physically show it. Um, Nikki Giovanni's A Good Cry, which I really loved. It was a fantastic read. Um, a lot of the poems were amazing. Um, I wasn't quite as fond of some of her more prose poems or the prose pieces that were interspersed in the book, but overall, I really enjoyed the collection. Um, I also uh, read um, the February issue of National Geographic. Um, I started this issue um, last Thursday when I went with my mom to a doctor's appointment and um, she had an MRI and I was going to read some National Geographic while I was waiting for her. I ended up not reading as much at the time because I basically had to do a few nursing duties. Um, but anyway, so I was going to hold this and read it uh, Tuesday or this past Tuesday when uh, mom had a follow-up. Um, so she had an MRI on Thursday and she was going to talk to her neurologist on Tuesday, but they called uh, mid Tuesday morning asking if she would prefer a phone conference rather than physically going up. So we said, yeah, so she said yes. And so uh, we had the phone conference with her doctor rather than going up there, which saved us a trip. Um, so anyway, so I didn't get a chance to read um, this issue on Tuesday, but I did finish it today. And so quite enjoyed the issue. Uh, I'll talk to about it a little bit. Um, there's in the Explore section of Black Inventors a uh, broad review, which was really well done. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, there's a story on um, locusts, which I thought was good. Um, there's a 
Brief story on um, Tarot's Italian Roots by Alex um, Schechter, which was quite good. And then in the features section, um, The Last Slave Ship, um, A History of the Clotilda, and um, the town neighborhood that um, many of the descendants of the Clotilda, or survivors of the Clotilda, and um, their descendants uh, made um, Africa town. I thought it was really amazing. Um, let me get to the names. Um, particularly given that uh, uh, various writers actually wrote the piece rather than just one. And I do want to look up uh, particularly uh, I think Sylvain Diouf's her work uh, or her expansion on the story I think um, and then there's a uh, get to it eventually um, Prairie Divide um, talking about um, a um, conservation plan to essentially buy up a lot of ranch land and linking that with um, public lands and a few nature reserves in Montana to so they can reintroduce bison and other native species and how a lot of local ranchers are opposing um, this proposal because of um, their fears that the bison will make it harder for them to make a living. So that was really, really interesting. And then there's a piece called uh, Redefining Beauty by Robin Gibbon with a photography by Hannah Reyes Morales. I thought that was really interesting, although I I think I detected some notes of ambiguity in um, Gibbon's uh, uh, writing about this the idea of uh, redefining beauty. And then I quite liked the story on Bob the Flamingo. That was hilarious. Um, very interesting. And then there the uh, issue wraps up with a look at... Um, a cardamom in uh, Vietnam. So really, really enjoyed this issue and I'm looking forward to hopefully uh, getting to the March issue soonish. But it depends if I have uh, free time from all of these books I need to read. Anyway, so that wraps up what I've been reading. Uh, moving on to what I will be reading this weekend and into the week, work week. Um, this weekend I will be reading um, The Unspoken Name by A.K. Larkwood. Um, this is part of my uh, Pride TBR and I'm rather looking forward to uh, finally getting around to reading this. And I will let you know how I make out next Monday. Also I'm planning on reading uh, Say Nothing by Patrick Raiden reef um and as it is for the book Tree prize i will only say i will be reading it and next week I, i've read it um excuse me i think that's about it if anything else comes up i'll mention it next week um as far as uh, viewing goes um i think i want to like tonight i want to focus a bit more on booktube and then maybe watch some uh, YouTube videos in my watch later. Um, I might watch something on Netflix, I don't know, but I might mention to it next week. So anyway, um, I think that's all I have to say. So uh, until Monday, hopefully I'll have a video Monday. Um, I will hope everybody has a great weekend. Um, if you are protesting or if you are getting out in general, uh, please take precautions um, and stay safe. And thank you, Booktube.